I'm the guy that's made your cup holders. I've made this video to show you a couple of things that you need to do to modify your lid to be able to get it to fit my piece. It's pretty straightforward and everything will be explained in here. Okay, this is the original ashtray. There's a few parts that we need to take from it to be able to take across to our new piece. First of all, the spring that we'll just take out very easily. Get a tray to keep your parts. Then we've got each of these pins that hold the lid to make it open and close. So what I've worked out is the best way to get these out is by using a corkscrew off something like a pen knife or Swiss Army knife, whatever they call them. Just get it inside. I've pulled this one out to make the video look a bit easier. Lock it inside the little teeth and then pull it out a little bit. Then once you've done that, grab a pair of side cutters or pliers, nip onto it and then just ease it out. Do the same over the other side. Pull it out, grab it with the pliers, and then the lid comes apart. Pretty straightforward. To fit the lid to the new cup holder, there are a few modifications we need to make to it. Along this ridge up the back, we need to take some thickness out of it, and along the sides here, we need to make clearance for the spring and the mechanism to move. Here's one I've already modified. <clears throat> you can see down here, I've scalloped out the bottom. And now I've taken thickness out from the side. And same on the other side. I've taken out thickness, which I'll try to show you on the camera somehow. And then I've also sculpted out the bottom. Along this back edge, I'll try to pull some focus. So you see the modifications that I've made uh, here. We've sculpted out the bottom that runs all the way to this back edge and all the way to this front edge and I've sculpted up until a circle around where the original mount is. This clearance here just makes sure that it doesn't hit on the side of the um, of the box of the cup holder when it opens. On the other side I've done the same story. I've cut all the way down the bottom of this side to make it flush with this base here. And then I've gone all the way up and I've sculpted it down all the way up until where this little pinhole is that we're gonna put the spring. But the idea is to make more clearance here for the spring to actually fit because it needs to sit to the side of the ashtray. Because I've made this whole thing bigger to fit a can, which was just never meant to, have, meant to happen in the first place, all these things are a lot tighter. So by putting the tiny uh, the spring in here still, I had to take thickness out of the lid rather than taking thickness out of the body because then we wouldn't be able to fit a can in it. Um, and along this back edge, we're just gonna cut out, you can probably see the line here, I've probably taken about one, one or two millimeters off this. This allows the back to actually open up further so that the lid does not crush in on your can and it makes it easier to take the can in and out of the cup holder. So I recommend using a Dremel with a bit of sandpaper on it um, you can pick them up from Bunnings for like 20 or 30 bucks at Nozito brand, that's the one I use. Um, if not, you can just do it by hand with sandpaper, but it'll take you a little bit longer. Um, and I'd recommend use a safety mask when you do it because it stinks like shit. Now, once we've modified the lid, we're ready to fit it to the cup holder base. It's the same process as we did to undo the original cup holder and fitting it back on. We're going to use the two pins on the side and we're going to do the spring loaded center on it as well. So, what we do, or what I choose to do, Get the pins, put them inside the actual um, the mounting parts on the lid, push them through just until they reach the flats to the surface, if you can see here. So just until they sit flush. If you push them too much further, you won't be able to get it on the lid. Onto the base, sorry, I should say. So do that on the other side, like so. Easier said than done. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is get the spring and we're going to put that inside the hole. Now we get the base, 
Now what we're going to do is just put them together. So we're going to sit the lid over the top, ease the sides in over to where the holes are supposed to go. If the spring falls out, don't worry about that too much. We'll be able to fix that. So what I do first is I get the spring and I put it in the locating hole. Like so. Easier said than done. Okay. So once the spring is actually in, as you can see here, then don't ignore my scratches, that's just for me being shit. Okay. So once the pin is uh, once the spring is in on the side, we can line up these sides and we can push these pins in just with our fingers. Spin around to the other side where the pin is, line it up, you feel it whether it's gonna go in or not. That's what she said. Um, and then you'll be able to push it in, like so. If you get stuck, you can look up the top. There we go. And then that is how you install the lid on the cup holder. Then it'll flip open and closed. Simple as that. If you get stuck, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Email me, I'll put my email link at the bottom too. Um, and yeah, happy cup holdings. <laughs>